To stop your kids or whoever from installing programs on Windows, uh, what you're going to need to do is to create a uh, another user account. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go about it this way. We're going to go to Control Panel, and um, I like to actually right click on the little icon down here and pin to taskbar that way uh, any time that you need to get to control panel you can just click there and bring it right up whether you need to uninstall some programs or whatever it is you're wanting to do okay so we're going to go over here to user accounts and we're going to click on user accounts again and you can see right now we're under my account which is an administrator account. You need to add um, a password to this account first, right? This is your account. Um, so we need to click on make changes and we're going to go into sign in options and then we're going to, you can either create a uh, password or you can create a pin, just whatever you want to do. There's lots of options here. We're just going to go with password. Um, we're going to add a password. Uh, and it can be anything you want, but I do suggest making it something you can remember and something that um, uh, won't be easily guessed by your kids. Um, you can see I tried to hit next. This is a required field. For password hint, um, we're just going to type in pi next. And next time you sign in, you'll need a new password. Finish. Okay, so to show you, which I'm sure you already know this, but we're going to log off here just to show you now in order to get in we have to put in our password right security feature so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into control panel we're gonna go to user accounts user accounts we're going to go to manage another account and we're going to add a new user we want to add someone else to this PC Okay. now Microsoft really pushes their Microsoft account so you don't have to worry about that all you have to do is click on I don't have this person's sign in information because we want to create a local account not a Microsoft account add a user without a Microsoft account who's going to use this PC um, you can name this again just whatever you want you can add a password if you want that's up to you I'm gonna leave it blank just for this and now we have another account on here we're gonna go back click here now you see we've got our account and we've got the kids account. Now the kids account, you'll notice that ours has administrator. Well the kids account is a uh, standard user account, which means they cannot install programs, they cannot make any changes to the system. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sign out of our account and now you'll get back to the screen in the bottom left you'll see now there's another option and since we didn't put a password we can just click on sign in and because it's a new account it'll run through the 
Windows setup uh, section. Okay, now when you get to this screen here, just go ahead and untick all of these and hit accept. Okay, now you're in the kids account. See? So now, for example, if they open up the browser, And again, this is a new account, so everything will have to be set up the way you want it. And now, let's say just for example, they went and they tried uh, say they were really big into games and all of a sudden they wanted to go and uh, download and install Steam so that they could access uh, a bunch of games, right? Well, they're going along. They're like, oh, yay, I'm going to install, yay, or whatever. And um, what's going to happen is it's going to let them download it. But once they go to open it up and install it, it's not going to let them. Now they need the password for the administrator account, which is your account. So they cannot do any changes to the system or install any software unless you put in your password. Um, it's a great little security uh, measure and it will keep anybody from installing uh, software that you don't want on the system. Um, so I hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.